Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Lining Kugel. It's their Toasted Bach, 5.1% alcohol. And before we get too far in, I do need to say thank you to Tony. Uh, one of my buddies said he likes watching our videos, so he hooked us up with a nice little assortment of beers that he had. Uh, said he'd like us to review these, so here we go. Uh, I had this one, but it's been a been a little while, so I, I don't really it. remember too much about this. So it'll be good. It'll be, 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 be a blind taste on this one. Uh, for the Crown Cap Collectors, it's from Lining awesome. Kugel, so it's pretty good. Now, uh, if you've watched some of my videos, you know, uh, Lining Kugel does pretty well. Uh, um, so. I like a lot of the stuff they do. Okay. Looks like a nice um, box. Pretty clever. Peace. Mm -hmm. I'm a big old barrel box fan. I love box. I don't know if you guys have watched, but most of my friends tend to be fans of box. Uh, the vast majority of my friends tend to be dark beer drinkers. I've gotten them in that far. All right, so let's get them around. Smells oh, like a box. Yeah. <laughs> nice toasted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very full. It has a slight sweet smell. Now, I understand these might not be the correct glasses, but they work good for They're filming. They're good for smelling, too. Um, well, I mean, it feels a little more... Get your more, face down in there. It feels a little more tulipy. Yeah. Because if you put your hand over like this, and yeah. you will even smell more. Uh, the color is pretty good. The color Pretty beautiful. good. I dig it. Uh, kind of a reddish brown. Yeah, uh, cool. Nice little tan head that does mm -hmm. go away. Kind of the way a lot of box do. So far, everything checks out. Let's get in there. Let her go first. Ladies first. We got. Can we get the smile on? I like it. Okay. Now get in there. Mm, I like it. Wow, that's neat. Mm. It's a little crisper than I anticipated. Yeah. Uh, the carbonation that. dances on your tongue really well. It does. As it continues to fade, the toasted you get, is you're left more with and that. more. Um, yeah, you're left with that. Now, I've said this before in one or two of my other videos. Uh, there's two kinds of toasted in the beer world. There's the toasted that I wanted, and the we called it toasted because it was burnt. <laughs> um, this one is not a burned toasted. No, it's almost like a nutty, roasty yeah, I, I like it. I'm almost at a um, pecan or almond mm. flavor a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would go on the almond side. Honestly, it it almost it almost seems a little light, and then the aftertaste is that that's where you get the toasted the toasted yes. which i think is really neat yes um, i would totally agree with that um mm -hmm. it has a it has a nice mouthfeel but it really dissipates properly um my tongue doesn't feel coated no uh there's no real discernible hop note no the malt background like it's got a good malt base. The background flavors are uh -huh. nice, malty. Yeah. Is there anything on there about that? I like that. Mm. Burr, burr, burr. This says a refreshing take on a traditional Bach beer. Um, I would say that's fairly refreshing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, overall, uh, I would just say the pleasant. Mm, like that's probably one of the best ways to describe this beer is, mm, is very pleasant. Is it pleasant? Um, hmm. I think we do okay with like food. It. Oh yeah, I think so. But more importantly, I think I could drink more than one in a row. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. And at five point one, I could still actually function. <laughs> Um, nice for a couple with me. There's a slight sweet smell. I can't quite put my finger on, but there's a little on, but, tiny sweet taste too. But I, it's not there's offensive a little sweetness. at all. 
it's it's mostly toasty on the end, but you do get a little sweetness left with it too. It's kind of where I've kind of said a little bit. Like Maybe that almond. was where that kind of no, yeah, know. yeah. That, I mean, I don't think there nut. is an almond in it, no. but I just it has kind of a that sweet nut toasted, toasted. almond mm -hmm. flavor. Mm. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I taste the tiniest caramel note at the front. Okay. Just a little bit, and. But it doesn't. That doesn't stick very long, though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. I like the crispness of this buck. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't. It doesn't weigh me down. No. It, no. It's it's a dark beer, but it's not heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I do too. Well, are you guys enjoying the video? If you are, give me a like. That really helps. Uh, it'd help even more if you subscribed. And uh, if you subscribe, just know I try to do this at least three times a week unless just something random happens, like a major holiday sometimes if it falls on my Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I don't. You know, I got a family too. Um, if you want to talk about it down there in the comments, give us a shot. If there's a beer that you'd like me to try to find and review, mm -hmm. I love those. I try to yeah. find those. Um, but... I think it's time we get down into the rating okay. system. Okay. First and foremost, did you dig it? Yes. I did. I think this is a good beer. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. I would like to have more of them. I like it. Uh, would you have another? Well, okay. kind of answered that question. Yes, I would. Um, does it have any seekability? I think so. You know, I think so. Uh, oh, I, would I think this it. comes out more in the winter for them. Probably. Uh, I think Lining Kugel does seems to me that they, well, at least in my market, they seem to have quite a few seasonal beers, and I like that. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like about seasonal beers is you know, when I want one and it's not in season. Right. But, you know, like my Oktoberfest. You buy enough to keep some around. Yes. Now, um, pick six worthy. I'd very say Yeah, that. but, you know, it's lining cool. It's not terribly expensive. Yeah. Uh, if you're in the box, grab a sixer of this. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. Um... We like to rank one to ten. One's the lowest. Eight, ten eight. is the highest. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Oh, really? Eight. We actually could be a higher one than that. Yeah. I'm going seven. Really? I. I'm a big box fan, though. So. I, I, I do find this much higher than it is above average. Um, my personal opinion, I would have liked it just a smidgen maltier. Uh, just a smidgen maltier and a little less crisp, and it probably would have been an eight for me. Uh, but depending on the day, it might get that extra point. I like, I dig it a lot. But I am very happy with this beer, and apparently you are too. I am. It's got a very, very pleasant aftertaste, which is extremely important to me. Well, the other thing I would say is she's giving it a high mark. And she is a big fan of these. So, in all yeah. honesty, she does tend to degrade her dark beers harder than she even grades yeah. her light beers. Yeah. Because it's your if you preferred style. dark beer, you in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. See your next beer adventure. Cheers.